Here is the United Network Operation Control Center. Wow, there's a lot of computers in here. Welcome, Star Megadoo. This one, I think, might be ready. Hi, I'm sorry. Chris Casey. Wow, there's a team. If six could stay here and then six more follow me. This is a big group. You know, then I'm going to take six of them. Okay. Any six can come with me. One, two, two, three, four. <laughs> we need two more. Can we grab two more? I would pull the cow up. I mean, I usually do it on the night. That's always a problem. We need two more. Can I have two more? Call Tom. Otherwise, two more. Do we need two more? We had to shoot the same task. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah. Hey Dennis, I know. They're welcoming us. God, this looks the where I work, but worse. Oh hell no. Looks like AS400. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Nice to meet you. Matthew, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sean. Sean. You're like the fifth Sean today. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mark. Okay, well, welcome to in-flight crew scheduling. Come on over. Absolutely. Cool. Here in this is where we schedule flight attendants worldwide. Far. Understand my language, United Airlines, but the subsidiary north side, the subsidiary south side. The reason I say that is we are with one airline. They do have one union, the Association of Flight Attendants. But we do have two separate contracts that we have to operate under currently until we uh, renegotiate a common contract for both groups. Is South Continental? South would be Continental. Okay. Very good. <laughs> So if you look on this side of the wall, these are schedulers who are currently scheduling United Airlines flight attendants who work in the north operation that can only fly on United Airlines now. Okay. The schedulers on this side are scheduling United Airlines flight attendants who are on the south subsidiary that can only fly on Continental Metal. Do they talk to each other? Or do, they, Pardon, do they talk to each other or are they rivals? Oh, they're best friends, yeah. They, 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 they party together. Oh. <laughs> you don't party together in this group, you die. <laughs> So the difference is, um, like I said, we can't, we can't merge them because hey, we can't we're not cross qualified on the equipment yet. And then um, number two is we're not uh, we have, don't have work rules. separate contracts. So yeah. totally separate different work rules. To add to that excitement, we have two separate crew management systems. Duh. So the subsidiary South Side works in a program that's called Cosmos. Okay. The subsidiary North Side works in a program that's called Unimatic. Uh, now you'll notice a plethora of people walking in because we do our shift turnover at three. Okay. So if they're in your way, don't worry about it. They used to be pushed around. <laughs> but let me show you what the systems look like just so you can see because eventually one day we're going to pick one of them. Have Maybe they decided? No, they haven't. Wow. So this is Erin. Hello, Erin. Hello, Erin. And she's handling Continental, or subsidiary South, whatever you want to call MS Dog. Thank you very much. And this is the Cosmo <laughs> system. So if you look at here, this is a flight attendant's line of flying for the month of November. Here's the flight attendant's name, here's the trip she flew, here's what she's getting paid. So you see what that looks like, right? If you look at here, this is what's called a flight loft. This lists all the flight attendants who will be flying flight 16 today, departing Newark. When they put their crews on, the first two is the captain, the second one's the first officer. Then they list all their flight attendants. Wow. Then on the bottom of theirs is where they put their purser or their ISM, in-flight service manager. You'll see on the United, the purser goes at the top, and we don't put the pilots on ours. It's different the way we do the flight loss. These are their pairings, or what they're flying. The Y always indicates where they're based. The number three indicates what type of airplane it is. 
Then the next numbers have multiple indications, whether it was built in the bid, whether it was a modified pairing, whatever. And then there's always letters at the end too, as they go in to make changes to a pairing. It'll be the letter A, the letter B, the letter B. So a scheduler could always look and say, wow, they kept changing this pairing. And then here's the actual pairing, what they're flying. So they're doing the Newark to a Glasgow trip. And it'll tell the flight number, it'll tell the equipment, where they're going, when they leave, when they arrive, what the hotel is, how long the layover is, etc. Et is, is there a web-based interface for this or is it all MS DOS? This is web-based. This web -based. is a system. Okay. Yes. That's like a browser based. Right. But, you know, can you get into it? You mean through a, a, a web browser? Uh, I, I would think you probably can, but it, it is a web-based system, but I'm sure it's code protected. And then over here in the little right corner is a thing called GUI. That looks scary. <laughs> what that does is, is it tracks the planes by their tail numbers. And it lets them see where every airplane, here's the timeline right here. What's the different Tracks colors? Every airplane coming and going and coming and going, where they're going, where they're seated, okay. up on. So that's how they operate on the south subsidiary. Come over here, I'll show you the north subsidiary. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm working a double shift. Okay. Yeah. Give, me, give me a flight lock, please. Uh, give me a line of flying and give me an ID, please. JFK, LGA, Newark. So I'll explain it to you in just a second. So if you remember over there. Now. Here's what a line of flying looks like on the United side and the, the Unimatic program. Here's the flight attendant. Here's all the trips she's flying for the month. Here's what she's going to get paid. Here's what her actual flight is, etc., etc. Here's what a flight loft looks like. Remember, I talked about we put the purses on the top, they put the purse on the bottom, they put pilots. We don't show pilots in ours. We show who the flight attendants are, where they're based, what the trip is, what the ID is, etc. And then here's what an actual ID looks like over here. So you'll see these flight attendants are doing uh, San Fran to Seattle, over to Newark layover. Then they're going to go to Newark to Cleveland, leaving back to San Francisco. And then he has a system called Halo, which is on his right side. And what it does, he has it set up to track. He's responsible for anything that comes into these three airports. So Alex has his set up to touch any airplane that comes through his airport. And they're color-coded, so the blue means it's a delay. Yellow means it's a misconnecting crew. Green is what we call a uni, a flight attendant coming in who doesn't have a return segment. Light blue is off the gate but not in the air. Another color blue is uh, on the ground but not into the gate. So they're all color coded so the scudgers can immediately look at them. This is the moving timeline here. When Alan, Alex wants to find out what's going on, all he does is click on here and it pops all the information here on the left side of his screen. So that's how they track their whole operation all day so they know when the recrew, when the crews are misconnecting, uh, what a plane is going to be at the late, then they'll track the tail number. Wow. So yeah, as you can good. imagine, this morning was a bit active. <laughs> yeah. The Atlantic had a bit of hiccup. But that's what they do on this side. So, so see, they're walking my crew now. Uh, that's true. <laughs> so all of the systems have a fill-in format, which you can do when it takes longer. But when you're really good at it, like Alex, and they've been around, you just... You, so you just did y'all have to it. train new people first, or did you bring continental people up to work a continental system? That's an excellent question. So, um, unfortunately, not as many continental people came as we had hoped. They had either found other positions in Houston because they wanted to stay there, or they found other positions in the company, but they didn't have to come. So, I'm the hiring manager for our department, so within this last year, I've hired 60 brand new schedulers out of 121 schedulers. Wow. However, I've been very fortunate because um, they're all college educated. They've all been schedulers with other airlines. I pretty much stole everybody from Pinnacle. Okay. And, and they've been an absolute godsend because they're truly, truly intelligent, sharp people. Go ahead, Chrissy. Thanks. Oh, for instance, here in there. I hired her, we put her through eight weeks of scheduling training to learn to be a scheduler on the United side. And six weeks of OJT. And then we said, oh, you know what, we need you more on the CO side. So then we immediately pulled her and put her in a midnight training class for four weeks to teach her the Continental side. And now she's doing Continental scheduling. Wow. So it's a lot of change, a lot of transition. We've got a set core group now, and we feel real good with the group, and it's a really good group. But uh, we've been very blessed with the people that I hired from uh, the Pinnacles and the Express Jets and the Masadas, the Smaller Rinos. Very, very talented young group of people who just pick this stuff up in no time at all. So since Erin has learned both, which one would she recommend? Yeah, yeah, good yes. Let's ask Erin. Yes. Erin? <laughs>
our friends would like to ask you, since you've heard both systems, which one do you, would you prefer to have if we had to go to one? Well, they both have their strengths and weaknesses, but I would probably go for this one because I'm more visually friendly. So if you want to get something done really quickly, you can kind of see what all's in front of you. Although on that side, you have six different screens. So you can kind of do many different things manually, but not necessarily consecutively at the same time. So probably this one, though. Okay. Easier to look at, quicker. That's Thank you. Oh, all right, yeah. thank you. See? I told you there we go. Yeah. Oh, so when you're sitting down, you say, I'm misconnecting. Nobody's going to care about me. We do. Aaron. Right now, Aaron, yeah. Aaron is definitely watching this. Wow. All right. We're gonna move on. Is it already Our time? Scoop is already here. You're already done. Uh, excellent. All right, thank you. Thanks for coming up. We appreciate your coming. Yeah, stay all out right. of trouble. <laughs> Wow, so it's a lot of information. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah. Who schedules the schedulers? And they do themselves most of the time.